Today I'm going to talk about some of the books I have read as a coach that have helped me formulate my own philosophies. Even if you're not a running coach, reading about putting together training plans can help you DIY your running, so stay tuned. Hey there, Wrinkled Runner here, also known as Coach Share. When I first became a certified running coach by taking the course from the RRCA, I initially wanted the information just for myself and to also give some more credibility to the content that I was putting out. It didn't take long though before I was answering questions and coaching others. Something I feel is very important for every coach is to continue to learn everything you can about coaching and running keeping up with the science and finding out what other coaches have done. While the certification process was good and I learned a lot, I don't think we as coaches should stop there. Finding out what has worked for other coaches and diving into all of the information out there is a huge task, but one that I think is necessary to give your athletes your best. So I'm gonna go over some of the resources, mainly books, that I use and have used in my quest to continuously learn as much as I can. So the first book I read after getting certified was Jack Daniel's book, Daniel's Running Formula. As far as I can tell, this is the book that the certification that I received is pretty much based on. Some of the concepts that weren't exactly new to me, but that I was trying to figure out where they came from when sitting through the curriculum came together for me when I read this book. It kind of pulls out all the stuff that I learned into a bit more of a broad form. I also read Greg McMillan's book, You Only Faster and Run Faster Marathons. If you have ever plugged a recent race into a calculator to find out what your workout paces would be, it was most likely the McMillan calculator. He breaks down how to set up training and the things that you need to think about when coming up with a training plan. It's interesting to me that the more coaching books that I read, the more I can see who has had influence over them. You start to recognize concepts in a coach's way of setting up training and the philosophies of training that different ones adhere to. You will then start to formulate your own philosophies based on your athletes and how they respond to different trainings and also yourself as you train. Another book that has a bunch of information is The Science of Running by Steve Magnus. This has a lot. The first half of the book is the science behind running with the second part about putting together training plans. Steve also has a podcast called On Coaching with Jonathan Marcus. And if you are a coach and haven't listened to that yet, do give them a try. The podcast will also bring up things from Steve's book that the science has actually changed direction on. So it's interesting to hear about that as well. I will say that the science section of this book didn't make a whole lot of sense to me until I became a certified personal trainer as well. And I do recommend if you are a running coach to pursue some other certifications. The more you know, the more you can help your athletes. A book I find extremely helpful is from Brad Hudson and Matt Fitzgerald called Run Faster from the 5K to the Marathon. This book for me really speaks to how I like putting training plans together and there's just so much in there. It breaks things down really well and I use it for my own training too. It asks the right questions and brings up scenarios and then gives you practical, usable advice on how to solve the issues that may come up. The Language of Coaching is by Nick Winkleman and while this is more of a sports kind of universal discussion on teaching movement it did give me some good tips on teaching strength training if you're a CPT as well as a running coach it's all about cueing and there are some instances that I want to get something across to an athlete in a clear way and this book helps you think in that direction Run Like a Pro, Even If You're Slow by Matt Fitzgerald and Ben Rosario was more for just my personal reading, but I have used some of the concepts, drills, and ideas for some of my more advanced clients. There are more books that I have studied, but the gist is this. Don't expect that whatever coaching certification that you received is it. It's a good basis, but you should always be learning. Always be finding out what the latest science is. 
because I think so many of us have the mistaken impression that science is absolute, but science is experimentation and learning from mistakes and testing out theories and admitting when what we thought was for sure isn't. Don't be afraid to find out that what you've been doing is wrong. Learn from that and learn how to level up your coaching game by keeping on top of what is known now. I will hear so many coaches, especially on social media, saying things that are known to be no longer true, but because so many people believe it, it's still being taught. Be brave as a coach. Learn and read and research. Find out if what you're doing is still holding true. Don't just put together an infographic on social media based on what someone else has done just for likes. Definitely influence people to run, but don't just blindly be a content creator or influencer with no thought. Make continuing ed your goal. Be constantly on the lookout for new ways to learn and enhance what you already know. Your clients will benefit and you will be the best possible coach that you can be. If you're a coach, I would love to connect and find out what you are learning and any resources that you use to make yourself better. Or if you're a runner and have any questions about running, you can email me at sherry at wrinkledrunner.com. I'm a running coach and personal trainer based in Buffalo, New York, and I do in-person coaching there and virtual coaching as well. To find out what I can do for you, head to the coaching page on my website, linked in the description. You can also sign up for my once a month newsletter where I include links to all the articles, podcast episodes, and YouTube videos that I've done over the past month. And also include any resources or information that I have found helpful as an avid runner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the run.